Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Gabriel and today we're doing another Twin Flame energy reading. This reading is meant to be timeless, so no matter when you find it, no matter where you're at on your journey, when you find it, there is a message for you here. So today we're going to be pulling from the Divine Master Oracle cards by Kyle Gray. And the first card is Melchizedek. Divine knowledge, higher learning, commit to your vision through study. And what I really feel from this for the collective is to start studying what you are uh, focused on or what your life purpose is calling, or if you're focused on your twin flame journey, this is studying twin flame ascension school. This is studying being a spiritual student. You can't really progress on your journey if you aren't willing to learn, you aren't willing to grow, you aren't willing to change. You have to be able to move through your feelings and learn that the that reality is not what you maybe thought it was. Either someone isn't your twin flame, someone is your twin flame, or you learn about the nature of your uh, eternal being, the fact that you aren't temporary, you are eternal. And so this is a call to dive deeper into your spiritual study. You know, if you aren't a member of T Twin Flame Ascension School and you're on the Twin Flame journey and you're serious about being with your Twin Flame and Ascension, then there's no better place to start than Twin Flame Ascension School because that's how you can really commit to your journey and go deeper. Um, but, you know, if you already have Twin Flame Ascension School and you're still, you know, where do I study? watch the classes again. That's the great thing about being a spiritual student is that even though you're learning the same thing like over and over and over again, um, the principles are very simple. It's, you know, feel your feelings, love yourself. Um, but there are nuances that you learn. And the more that you are conscious of, you know, the more you deepen into your awareness of spirituality, the more you raise your vibration, new levels of your consciousness are able to grasp deeper concepts um, than the first time you watched it. So it really is true that when you watch Twin Flame Ascension School, when you watch any of the classes, read the book again, um, you get more and more out of it because you have a deeper level of awareness and you can understand it on a new level and you'll take away something um, from it that you didn't take away last time. And it'll always be the perfect message for you. God's perfect like that will always give you the message that you need when you need it. So don't be afraid to go into higher learning. I pulled two, so we're going to take it. The next two cards are Sopdet. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. Cosmic Power, Unlimited Potential, Sacred Mission, Initiation, and... Metatron and Sandalphon, Sacred Connection, Synchronicity, Divine Connection, Understanding Lessons. And I love that these are together uh, because clearly this is a twin flame card. These two are twin flames. And then we have this activation here. And I love that it's kind of right here, kind of in the crown chakra, third eye chakra kind of feel right here. But what I'm getting from this is how important it is to live your life purpose with your twin flame. Your twin flame is not just here to be a warm body to be with. Your twin flame is here to grow and live your life purpose with. They are here to, um, you know, some people say fulfill a mission, but really what that means is to live your life purpose together. If you're not living your life purpose, you're going to find that your twin flame doesn't really have a reason in your life. If you're not ascending, if you're not actively on the journey, your twin flame is not going to be in your life that long either. But your life purpose gives you a common goal, gives you that energy to move forward together. And so I think, you know, even going back to this right here is, you know, life purpose class, another place to really grow um, and, you know, find your life purpose and move towards that because that's going to be one of the most, if not the most attractive thing to your twin flame. Uh, loving yourself is probably number one, being, having a relationship with God, but living your life purpose is that close second because that is what 
keeps you going. That is what helps you keep expanding once you're together. The next card is Kalima, Divine Severance, Cut Cord to Drama, Fears, and Limitations. And this is, you know, fears, dramas, limitations within your union. You know, if you're sitting there thinking, I'll never be with my twin flame, or I'm afraid to be with my twin flame, or I'm afraid to be hurt. This is a sign that it's time to heal those patterns and those fears. But it's there's also a, a call here to stop being afraid or to heal the fears and your limitations around your life purpose. Your life purpose, similarly to your twin flame, is going to challenge you. It's going to you know, bring up everything out of alignment with love. It's going to bring up everything out of alignment with who you are. And you have to face those things, the beliefs that you had about yourself that are no longer true, no longer viable. And it can seem really challenging, but this is a sign that, you know, it's time to heal those things. And you can heal uh, your life purpose just like you heal on your twin flame journey. You have to you know, you can use the mirror exercise, but you have to feel your feelings, love yourself and move through it and then take the guided steps in order to initiate your life purpose. You have to take the guided outer steps in order to live your life purpose. It's not just inner, it's probably mostly outer for your life purpose. But if you're afraid to take that first step, your first step is to heal that. Next card is Sanat Kumara, open channel, signs, codes, downloads, and sacred information. And to me, this feels like this is a sign that God is there giving you the information. You don't have to figure this out on your own. Um, I know that's something that I've felt before, like moving through my life purpose is like, what, are, you know, what is that desire in my heart? What are these things that God is guiding me to do? And it's not for me to figure out on my own. God reveals that to you as you take the spiritual journey, as you follow just the next step that God has given you. And it's God's job to fully reveal that to you. It's God's job to guide you through that and just surrender to allowing him to do his job. Because if you try to do it yourself, you're going to waste a lot of energy struggling against the flow. And you're also probably not going to land on the right thing, right? You're going to come to what you think you should be rather than what God has for you. And so when you surrender, all of that is given to you. God gives you those downloads, the signs, synchronicities in order to guide you towards your path. In the bottom of the deck is uh, Mahat. Mahatavar Babaji, uh, spiritual awakening, uh, interconnectedness, understanding the inner workings. And yeah, this is kind of what this journey is all about with the spiritual awakening. Uh, but it does feel like, you know, those of you who are, have been on that journey for a while, that it feels like it's a deeper awakening. You're, you're always coming into a deeper level of awareness of yourself. And that's really what this feels like is you're coming into being more of who you are. And that makes sense, right? With what we're looking at with your life purpose and deeper knowledge, you're going into a deeper level of knowledge of yourself. And that is your life purpose is to be yourself. And through that, you know, you are a musician, you're a, you know, maybe you're an attorney, maybe, you know, whatever it is that God is guiding and calling you to do that you feel passionate about, you're going through this deeper level of awakening so that you understand who you are. Um, you're going to have a lot of these like breakthroughs, these spiritual awakenings, these uh, sometimes they feel like identity crises, but you're coming to, into a deeper level of awareness to yourself. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. If you'd like support on your journey, if you'd like one-on-one -on -one coaching or if you'd like your own personalized card reading to help you understand your next steps in your union and in your healing journey, you can find my services at sacredtwinflameunion.com and I will see you all in the next video.